Jesus acknowledges that family life is not always paradise. Even when everyone is called by God to love and serve, the day-to-day -day difficulties and trials of life can make family life quite hard. Different personalities and priorities may make it difficult to live together. Other times we are disappointed and frustrated by our parents, spouses, or siblings because of their words or actions. In these circumstances, it may seem much easier to wound than to love. God knows that the love he calls us to is demanding. It is only with Christ's help that we can come to love fully, to give up our constant demands and reject our desire to control or dominate. Only Jesus has the power to change hearts and make us capable to love as he loves. By listening to the word of God, receiving the sacraments such as the Eucharist and reconciliation and constant prayer, we can receive the grace we need to go beyond ourselves and love as Jesus loves. There is no magic fix to family difficulties. We still need to practice love with Jesus' help. Pope Francis recommends that every day we say please, thanks, and sorry. He says that these expressions open up the way to living well in your family, to living in peace. They are simple expressions, but not so simple to put into practice. They hold much power, the power to keep home life intact even when tested with a thousand problems. But if they are absent, little holes can start to crack open and the whole thing may even collapse. No one is perfect. We need constant reminders of our weaknesses so we can ask for forgiveness and be better. Please, thanks and sorry help us to recognize our need for the other and learn to live humbly and respectfully with those entrusted to us by God. Even very difficult circumstances can be used to grow in love and relationship when we allow God to enter. Let's reflect together how we need to grow in our relationship with one another. When was our recent time I said please, thanks, and sorry? What are some examples where we can learn to say please, thanks, 